Bolton's Alt Beer. Short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes, and Booze Reviews. I've got an Alt beer here from Germany, where all Alt beer comes from, and um, it's one from the Bolton's Brewery. They're based in the uh, North Rhine Westphalia region, which is um, northwest Germany basically, and um, that's the region that Alt beer originates from. Dusseldorf, of course, is the main. Sort of area for Altbier, but um, all around that region they do produce Altbier, and it's become it, it went out of favour in Germany. But according to a German mate of mine, it's quite popular. Well, it's sold all over Germany now. That wasn't really the case uh, years ago. It was only sold in that area and enjoyed by the people from that area. But it's apparently it's um, it's been sold all over Germany now. And it's not your usual German lager, of course. I don't know whether you're familiar with, with Alt beer at all, but I'll just quickly go over what it is. It's a very malty, dark beer that has emphasis on the malts. Um, it's it's originally been brewed in um, that sort of northwest um, area of Germany. And Boltons are the original. They've been going since 1266. I mean, fucking hell, that is a long time ago. And uh, they are the original Alt Beer Brewery. Um, I've had it on good authority that it's really good. Uh, a German mate of mine, he's, um, he lives in that area. He lives in Munster, or Munster Lager. Munster Lager is the camp, I think, the old military camp. He lives in Munster. Um, he absolutely loves it. He said it's great beer, and he, he likes his Alt Beer. Um, he said this is a good one. So... Let me stop guessing and let's investigate the beer. Magoo will get his beans on. Oh, uh, do you ever run those cartoons about that ridiculous little nearsighted old man? Right, Bolton Alt beer. Alt in Germany means old. Old um, is an expression that's used... Um, in, in this beer in Germany, obviously, but in Britain you you had old ale as well, which is completely different to this, and the two styles shouldn't be confused. Old ale is a hell of a lot stronger. Um, it's more like the sort of old peculiar type beer or the the Fuller's um, Golden Pride, etc. This stuff isn't like that. This is 4.9%. Uh, um, it's made with you know it conforms to the Reinheitsgebot. But it's got hop extract rather than hops in it. Obviously, there's variations on that. You know, other other brewers use um, uh, varying amounts of um, malt and hops. But um, I do like Alt beer. It is very reminiscent to brown ale that you get over here. Um, it's quite sweet, um, not as bitter from what I've found as um, ale over here. And as I say. It, when I say it's not as sweet, it's not as sweet as a as a bitter. I mean, I know that's a fucking oxymoron, isn't it? But um, it, it's more like brown ale, the, the sort of nutty, sweet, nutty brown ale that you get um, from, say, Sam Smith's. It reminds me of that. Anyway, let's stop guessing and let's get this open. It'll just It's a 500ml bottle and it's 4.9%. Here's the label if you are interested. Quite a nice label. Now, this used to have a flip top cap on it. But now it's just got the normal cap, and there is the cap. I'm not going to put on a German accent. That is Black Lion. Very good pub in Plasto called the Black Lion, real old pub, which is still there from, from what I've been told. Used to go in there before the games. Done some really good beer and a fantastic pint of Guinness too. Anyway, I digress. Let's get this open and let's see what's going on. I am using the cap lifter. That's my new name for bottle openers now. Uh, 
Right, and the nose out the bowl. Yeah, lovely. Nice, what I was talking about before, the nice, sweet, nutty aromas of that, you know, that, that typically come from out beer. Um, it's like got a caramel malt, a really nice, really nice caramel malt. Slightly smoky, quite nutty in its aroma. Not much hot bitterness on that. There's a little touch, but it's mainly about the malt. Let's get it in the glass, see what's going on. I'm using a, a wheat beer glass, because I'm assuming it will use that, but I don't think there is a specific glass that Alt Beer uses. Now, there it is in the glass. It is a lovely. I mean, it, as I say, it is very reminiscent of a brown ale. As you can see, I'm not looking at the bubble sticking to the side. That's shocking. Now, if you were served that in a pub, in a British pub, you would be perfectly within your rights to say, if you didn't know what it was, that it was a brown ale or a bitter, because that's what it looks like. Apparently, Alt Beer was quite popular with um, British squaddies who were based over there in the 70s and the 80s, and um, you know, it reminded them of the the beer that, that they'd get up north, back in the pubs in Northern England. On the nose, yeah, nice, almost sort of a, a roasted caramel. I'm saying it's car it's, it is caramel, and obviously malt, caramel malt is roasted, but you can really get the roasted aroma from that. And it's quite nutty as well, and it smells quite sweet. Let's get it down the hatch before the head dissipates completely. Prost. Mm. That's really nice. Tons and tons of caramel malt. No, lovely roasted caramel malt. There's a little touch of chocolate on there as well. A little touch of dark chocolate that's giving you that sweetness to it. And there's also a little type of nutty flavour to it as well. Um, as I say, that, if it was brewed over here and labelled up as brown ale, would be really, really popular, I think, because it is a great drink, regardless. This Alt beer, I love the style of Alt beer. I don't know why it hasn't cottoned on in Germany. Um, maybe they're just too much into their Hellas and lagers, which is perfectly understandable. But I think they're missing out on this stuff. This stuff is really good. In fact, I'd go as far as to say is that's one of the best outs I've tried so far. Um, before that, I tried the Uriga Alt beer, which was recommended to me saying it's the best Alt beer. I think this is easily up there with it. It's a really nice Alt beer and very in keeping with the style, but it would be in keeping with the style because that is the originator, or that brewery, Bolton's, is the originator of the Alt beer style. But it's really nice and this is quite sort of cold. I'm still getting all them lovely flavours and it's really refreshing. And of course, Alt beer is bottom fermented. So, and, and the Bolton's Brewery use their own strains of yeast too. And what they're producing is a really light, but with full body. If you can imagine that, this is quite full bodied, but it, it's light on the palate and on the stomach as well. And it's quite refreshing too when you're drinking it this cold. But if you drink that sort of room temperature, I'd imagine that would be really nice as well. Mm. This gets better with every mouthful. I'm really liking this. I'd go as far as to say that probably is the best Alt that I've tried. That is really good. I really recommend this. Got this from Beers of Europe. Um, it was £2.22 for a 500ml bottle. If you're a fan of British ales, um, even bitters, um, and you like, you know, a quite easily drinkable but full-bodied beer, I know that's sort of contradicting itself, then yeah, 
that is going to be just the ticket. Uh, that's the ticket. So, what is the verdict? Well, I love Elbeer, and there's some really good ones out there. That, as, I, as I mentioned before, the Ulriga one, I thought was a really good Elbeer. Uh, the Schlösser, I thought was another good Elbeer. Um, they're the two that spring to mind. I've tried a couple of others that haven't been quite as good. I'm not going to mention them here, but they're the t they're the sort of three that I'd recommend if you wanted to try out the Altbeer style. This one, to be honest, I think is probably the best. The Uriga was a good one before, um, until I tried that, and I think this just pips it to the post. It, it's got a hell of a lot of body to it, nicely sweet, lovely nutty flavour to it, bit of chocolate on there, supremely drinkable and just full of sweet caramel malt. Really nice. I'm going to give that. I'm going to give that a. Mm, I'm going to give it a nine out of ten. I really like that, and uh, yeah, as I say, definitely recommended. And if you've not tried it, or not tried out beer before, try one of them three. But you know, if you can, I'd say get this first. This, I think, is the best one I've tasted so far. So nine and a half out of ten, recommended. And remember, beer is working class champagne.